WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we've got a mixed bag out there. The mix is coming from the Russell, which is up a point and a half, and the semis are up one. No, the semis are no, I'm not the semis, I'm at the trannies. They're no longer up. So just the uh, Russell's the only one trading the upside. Dow's off 173, S&P's down 47, NASDAQ 100, 287, about one and eight tenths percent there. Semis down 95, two and a half percent move to the downside. Gold's off 49 bucks, that's up over 2%. Silver's down 98 cents, that's nearly 4%. Lights we crude down 32 pennies, trading out at 73.76. You got natural gas down 14 cents and a 30 year treasury down nearly one point. Print out at one. 1714. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We're going to see a number of instruments either at support or resistance. The ES Mini starting us off. The ES Mini, we're taking a look at a bearish structured daily profile. We take a look at the uh, profile levels on my e signal, my black background charts out there. This is only a counter trend move to the downside because price did close above the top of that profile for two consecutive sessions. This is where price should find support. Right around this area, this is the center of the profile at 45.56. If price closes below this, we should make a move down towards 4509. That's the bottom of that profile. If we take a look at the spot volatilities, it is on the rise. It is still below the 50-day exponential moving average. But if a bottom was put in on Friday and this continues to move higher, its price target would be 1518 thereabouts. That's the 50-day exponential moving average. If we take a look at the NQ out here, it's testing support. Now, in the case of the NQ, the ES Mini had negated its road's momentum top and its um, – uh, TD9 count top. It did that on Friday. The NQ did not do that. The NQ still has both of those topping signals. Right now, price is testing the bottom of its profile. That's at 15,748. If we get a close below 15,748, it's going to signal move back to 15,465. 15,465, although not shown on this chart here, is its TD9 count breakout area. Price closes below that, then the NQ is telling you and I we've got a change in trend. If we take a look at the US dollar index, it is testing resistance. Resistance is the top of its daily profile. That's up at 103.76. We're trading at 103.74, although I do have a 10-minute delay on this. If price closes above resistance, 103.76, odds favor a further move higher. That would then put a further move lower in Goldilocks. Gold is attempting to form a new profile. Support here is at 2023.20. A close below that would suggest we have a change in trend. Now, you can see gold hit that one-to-one -one A to B equals CD. So right now you got a bearish engulfing candle. That would confirm a sell the D point pattern. But support is support, which we won't know whether that's support until this evening. But right now, put down 2023 on your pad of paper. Stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. We'll be back in just a few. We'll finish taking a look at the rest of the market.